Between four and seven children die every day in the United States because of child abuse and neglect. Shocking government statistics which also reveal more than three million reports of child abuse are made in the U.S. involving more than six million children annually. Many of those reports are made right here in the tri-state area. I think there's no good reason to strike a child. Frank Cervone is the executive director of the Support Center for Child Advocates in Philadelphia, a program providing free legal and social services for abused and neglected children. Each year, the office represents about 900 children, and during Cervone's 30-year career, he has been involved in thousands of child abuse and neglect cases. Uh, these cases can range from spanking, uh, uh, through uh, literally to uh, a child homicide. Corporal punishment is the use of physical force for the purpose of correction from a parent or legal guardian to a child. Many countries in the world have criminalized corporal punishment or characterized it as a form of child abuse. In the U.S., legislation varies by state, but the law does recognize a difference between crimes and corporal punishment. Uh, none of us are allowed to cause a bleeding. That means you're not allowed to break the skin. Um, we're not allowed to break a bone. We're not allowed to cause severe pain. These are all crimes. Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson faces felony charges in Texas for child abuse. He is accused of allegedly abusing his four-year-old son with a switch, a tree branch used like a whip. However, Peterson maintains he was disciplining his son and not abusing him. The Peterson case actually uh, many people would say, certainly I believe, uh, it looks all, by all appearance that there was a crime there because according to reports, there, there, there was bleeding, there was severe bruising. Um, it went well beyond what one could should cons might consider reasonable. While the Peterson case has been sparking debates on how to discipline children, Servone hopes it will prompt others to break the silence. Families keep secrets. Sports families keep secrets, and blood families keep secrets. That's what we know about child abuse and domestic violence, and that has to change, and that can change. Famed evangelical Christian author and psychologist James Dobson believes in the use of corporal punishment and writes, a boy or girl who knows that love abounds at home will not resent a well-deserved spanking. I don't believe in harsh discipline, even when it is well-intentioned. If child abuse or neglect is suspected, officials advise reporting it to a local law enforcement agency, Child Protective Services, or a 24-hour child abuse hotline. In Philadelphia, I'm Veronica Dudo for MeTV.